So while I was at my local Target today, I found that these, the Hexbug Junk Bots, are actually on clearance. The small single figures in the middle are $1.99, and the uh, double boxes um, that I have a bunch of uh, are, I believe, $2.99 or $3.99. Uh, so I just bought everything they had. The big boxes, the really big boxes, are still $20. Uh, I'm not buying those when you can get this many for that price. So let's take a look. All right, so taking a look at these, uh, you get single boxes and double boxes. And uh, I've already taken the plastic off, but the way you open these up is they've got this little chain on top uh, with a lock, and you just pull on this, and this nice rubber chain with a little lock comes off. Then you can open it up. Now, they have instructions to show you what's inside, but uh, generally there's some trash, so we've got uh, an old box. Uh, let's see, we've got some munchy, munchy mop flakes. Uh, and then we get into what's actually in the box. We've got some, some garbage in the trash. Uh, parts will be inside of here. We've got an old video camera, tennis racket, uh, an old TV. I guess just some cloth, a bolt of cloth maybe. Some odds and ends. A scuba divers flipper. Some shocks. Sometimes you'll find very, very tiny little things, and generally those have to do with something specifically that's inside the bags. So, let me grab my trusty scissors, and let's see what's inside the first trash bag. Now, you gotta be careful, because you gotta feel them and make sure that there's nothing that you're gonna screw up in there. What do we got? Little tiny odds and ends. That's it for that bag. And this is really cool that they keep putting them in these little trash bags that are tied off. Uh, some more little odds and end bits. And uh, after I show you what all's in here, I'll uh, put a robot together. But, I mean, it's really easy, even without looking at the instructions, if you want to put a robot together. Uh, like, here, we'll throw one together really fast. Um, hmm. What do I want to use? You can have a... Let's see. We poke around and take a look. All right, here we go. Here's a little double ball joint. Let's take this little double ball joint, put it in here. Take the camera head and put that there. As far as arms and legs and stuff go, let's see, what can we do? And there are instructions if you really want to look at them, but I don't want to look at them. A little strange that he doesn't seem to have two legs unless maybe maybe that's supposed to be a leg and then but then what does this do you already use the ball joint up there maybe these are arms yeah that kind of looks like it'd be arms you can have a little claw hand and you won't always use all these little pieces thing in there a tight little joint you actually won't use most of them so like but you can just kind of stick things wherever you want i don't even know what this little bead thing would go to so i'm not gonna mess with that uh let's see you can have a peg arm and Oh, I see. Wait, no. It is a ball joint, but I don't want to stick that on there. But you get the idea, even if I can't put this one together. You, you make your own little junk bots. It does have instructions. So inside you'll have... This one's name is Doodle. So I'm doing something wrong. Um, whoop. And then at the bottom of the box... Actually, this one didn't come with true instructions. The other ones I've, I checked out before came with true instructions. So... All right, let me clean this up. Let's take a look at the double box. All right, for the double box, again, you just grab the little chain link. Pop that off, pop that off. It's really cool, too. They've got a hook on one end. Big, long chain. It's elastic. Um, I have an idea of something to do with these, but um, that'll come later. So this, this paper part does just come off. And then you've got these cool... It says hex bug on it barely, but you can see the drips 
I get the light right. The glare kind of helps you see it a little bit. But, I mean, it just looks like a nasty old dumpster. Junk bot. Open it up. Oh, oh, gross. We've got stuff from Half Foods. Oh, uh, we got Bubba's diapers. Duty calls. Uh, there's the instructions. I don't look at that. Oh, bags of trash. This is disgusting. Oh, gross. Icky. Oh, what's, what do we have here? Um... Oh, it's an old computer. Cool. What are we going to do with an old computer? Uh, an old computer and a jet engine. Okay. Oh, what else we got? Uh, Miss Tick's Pizza. Some Crunchy Clump cereal. Uh, and then we've got a whole assortment of parts. Now, the cool thing about the double boxes. Random two. There's two characters, a 36, and a light module. Now, the bigger boxes, I think, have an engine module, and I'm not buying those for 20 bucks. But in here somewhere, right here, is a light module. So, what you can do with the light modules is some of the parts will have the ability... Oh, I see how it is. It's going to use... It's going to do it like a fiber optic. So, you're going to put these three fiber cables into here. Like that. And then we can take this stereo and we can plug the three fiber cables into the stereo. Now this is plastic, it's not glass, but and then this would mount somewhere on the robot, but then you've got lights. How cool is that? They just fall out, but who cares? And it looks like you can use the light effects on the PC, which that's definitely what I'm gonna do when I build this up for uh me and the kids to play with. That's a really cool little light effect. So the double boxes come with light effects. Um, I bought a bunch because they're on clearance. So let's see what's in the trash bags. You might be able to hear my assistant in the background. Say hello, assistant. Hi. There we go. Some more parts for bots and doodads. There's always a few extra parts. So you can dump these out, add them all to one big thing, and build whatever you want. You don't have to follow the instructions. You don't really have to go by any rules. There's no rule sets. This is literally bags of garbage that you're just making things out of. You know, and then the bags of garbage, you're going to have all kinds of weird things. You're going to have an old boot. You're going to have uh, an old stereo. Uh, like that. Oh, that's the, the base to a rolling chair. There's uh, tennis rackets, uh, one of the ones that I did, I'm hoping maybe in one of these bags there'll be one, but uh, there was literally a turd in one of them, literally a little pile of poop. These little things. Looks like this one actually has some kind of a mechanism. No idea what for, you know, and you can do this, like, look at this. You run some fiber into that one, and it's going to light up. How it's going to light up? I don't know. It might not light up. I have seen a couple of things that use a small peg like that. An old board. Some gears. Oh, that way, we've got gears. And I've got a gear mechanism here. So I'm willing to bet that those go together one way or another. Now, this has something that rotates, but I don't see anything inside it. That, oh, see, we've got a little gearing mechanism here. So it rotates here. It also rotates here. So if I put this little drill back here, and then I put an arm piece here, it's going to rotate. So in this one, I'd be willing to bet if I rotate this, the jet engine turns. So if you had the engine parts, that would be really cool. Some fish bones, if you want some fish bones. Um, it looks like brown lettuce. Nasty brown lettuce. So essentially, you're just taking whatever garbage you want, you're building out whatever you want. So, uh, let me build something, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's some robots I whipped up. Uh, put some lights on this one. Uh, let me see if I can show how bright these little LED lights are. Um, that's with the overhead lights off. Um, I made a, a robot chicken, and I think that's one of the, it's actually one of the ones on here, it's called the Kiwi, that's called the Tarot Bite, 
um, well, I changed some of it. Uh, this is just the little camera guy with the TV. You can swap all these around. You can unplug these. These little cables glow, like, because they're clear. Wherever the bends are, it, it moves. So these things are really, really cool. And I bought a ton of them. Uh, so we're going to go play with these for a while. And then um, later on, I'll, I'll show you what the junk pile looks like. What do you think about these, Assistant? I love them. There you go. Be right back. All right, so we, you know, we've opened a few packages. We've dumped out some bots and bits, and we've put together some of the robots. Um, most of these are from the instructions with maybe a couple of things that got changed up. Um, lots and lots of duplicate pieces, but some of it's good because you'll get, you know, duplicate pieces with ball and socket joints or double sockets, double balls, you know, things that you would need when you're doing something like this. Uh, but the problem is the ball joints are kind of terrible, and the, the plastic is pretty soft. Um, I've got stress marks on almost every piece that every ball joint that I've plugged in. Uh, and then once they go in, some of them, like this guy's legs are so loose, he can't stand up. So he just looks pathetic. But then there's also these tiny, tiny, tiny little bits like this that, um, I don't even know if you can tell these little holes right here. These are supposed to plug into them. And when you plug them in, most of them just sit in there. So a kid playing with these, you're going to lose those tiny pieces immediately because they don't actually plug in. Um, I also did also get a dead light source in one of the double boxes. I'm guessing at some point in its life it got turned on hell a year ago when these things started shelf warming maybe, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean, it's just changed the batteries. Uh, you do end up with lots and lots of duplicate pieces. So you really could make something that's symmetrical if you really wanted to. Lots of wheels, several different kinds of wheels, some of them that are really big, some of them turn. Um, you've got some unique ones like this dinosaur is pretty neat. This back here is supposed to be a kiwi. I kind of love the oven guy. I just put the wheels from like the bottom of a chair on here. Uh, you can see how some of the light sources work on some of the different ones. Uh, this one's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And it's how it was designed. It's just dragging itself on the, along the ground. Just sad. So, really? I'm glad I never paid full price for these. They're not worth the price they were asking. Originally, these boxes, the single boxes, were $5. The big, bigger boxes were $10. And then there's another bigger box that, that was $20, which is not on clearance at Target right now. It's still $20. And I'm glad I didn't grab any of those. Uh, they do come with motor parts in those for some of these rotating bits, uh, which is cool. But I don't know if it's cool enough to justify the $20. So I'll probably wait until those go on clearance, too. Um... For the clearance price that I bought these, cool. Are they going to last long? Probably not. I'll probably save a few of these as just kind of little funny bots to hide in my shelves and give the rest of them to the kids. But these little bits are going to get lost. They're going to get broken. These are not going to last long. Uh, right now, she's upstairs playing with a bunch of the trash boxes that it came with, which is kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you can find them on clearance, get them on clearance. They're at Target stores. If you look on the app, they still show full price, but they'll show that they don't have any in the store. But if you go to the store and look for them, look either in the clearance aisles or look in the aisles where the other Hexbot stuff is, or Hexbug stuff is, excuse me, because that is where I found these because they're made by Hexbug. So, here it is, the Hexbug junk bots. Should you get them on clearance? Are you glad you didn't pay full price? Absolutely. There's a... Uh, at least there, there's a box that says collect them all. I think there's 36 or 38 of them that you need to collect. I'm hoping that I get some of these neater ones. There's some other dinosaur looking ones. But there's also going to be a lot of repeat parts. And we'll build our own things and see how it goes. It also came with some poop around here somewhere. Uh, a little pile of poop. Some fish bones. A rat. So far. So, you know, there's some little extra bod odds and ends. Uh, also, as a reminder, the t-shirts are on sale. See the link down below. And if you buy one of the shirts and you wear it to TFCon and I see you, I will be handing out limited edition rollers. So as a thank you for uh, helping support us and uh, support the artist who designed the, my logo, uh, my daughter. So thank you. Throw up a like, throw up a subscribe, tell your friends, show your family, annoy your people. Good night.